Hey everyone, this is JoJo, and I'm here to do my March TBR. Um, there are some books I'm going to show you that I plan on trying to read this month, and there's books I'm still currently reading that I've been reading since January. Well, mostly since February and January, too. And stuff. I'm very. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to learn how to organize more and focus more into my reading so I can like know that having so many library books so last I don't have a wrap up because I haven't finished any books last week let me last year I mean last month Jesus Christ yeah so yeah I was kind of slow with the reading I was busy with work but also was like distracted and stuff so I don't have no wrap up it's sad yeah I know and um, so I'm just going to show you the books I'm currently reading first, and books I'm hopefully finishing most of them, and then like showing the books I was hoping to read this month too. New books, like no no books I'm not currently reading. So the first three books I'm like you know really reading at the moment, currently reading, is um books I been reading well. Two of them. Well, I don't know. I'm confused. Anyway, so many books I had for like last month TBR on the TBR list, but then I had to move it to March list because I still haven't finished it. So the first book here is City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson, and I'm like right there, kind of like in the middle of it. Is I really, really, um, liking this so far. It's like has mystery, has some thriller in it, and it's just like, yeah, it seems so fun. It's kind of like I don't know if we can call it fast paced, but at the same time, you know, it's it's like a really nice, a good, easy read. Get into the characters and the story and everything. This is not a wrap up because I didn't even finish it yet, but I really enjoyed this. Hopefully, I will um finish it this month and be able to maybe. Uh, I don't know about the review because since it's kind of kind of popular now, I guess I'm not sure. But maybe do like you know like you know like a decent wrap up for it. So the next book uh, I'm currently reading is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Nevin, and this is a uh, contemporary about a overweight girl who was known as the fattest teen in America, I guess, and like um. She know it was a depression of uh, losing her her mother and like she don't know how to deal with that so she let herself eat all this food and um stay in the house too long and yeah but like she's finally going to school now and um she lost some weight of course um she's sixteen and she met this other guy who is a um who has a I don't know what you call it, a mental, I don't know if it's a mental illness or not, I think it's maybe, but it has a, um, he has a, hey, what do you call it, prosopagnosia, yeah, I want to show you the word, I hope I can show you the word, that word down right there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, kind of, the video is kind of fuzzy, but yeah, it's this, um, uh, called, uh, this, thing called face blindness. He can't recognize certain people. I mean, he mostly can't recognize anyone. Not even his own parents. He, uh, parents and family. He had to find certain characteristics that or appearances about them that he can recognize to notice them. As that can be really hard. So it's really interesting and good so far. So hopefully it'll be really good to us to end. And the third book I'm currently reading um, is As Brave As You by Jason Reynolds, and I'm just a little bit right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you this. And this is, like, you know, a little short, like, kind of like the middle, almost done, in a way. Kind of, kind of near the end, kind of. But, yeah, I'm just a little bit right here. And I'm liking how, you know, the writing, like, how it writes. And, um, the, the characters seem interesting. So far, a little bit, especially the grandfather, and um, uh, I like how their relationship with um, the grand, like the main characters, 
main character radiation with his grandparents going to grow in his. I can't really seem like a nice, interesting read. It's just mostly about the two brothers who are staying uh, with their grandparents for the summer, for most of a month. And, like, while their parents are off to, I guess, to figure out their marriage, I guess. So, yeah, it's, like, something, maybe a coming of age. I know the main character, does, like, ask a lot of questions. And one of the questions is, um, what does it mean to be brave? Like, his uh, grandfather was, used to be, like, in the army or, you know, he, you know, be, like, uh, drafted for the war, I guess. At his time, I guess. And he gets, it's just, yeah. Um, I'm kind of tired a little bit, and I don't know, it seems like I'm talking and not making any sense. And next I'm going to show you the three other books I kind of currently reading, but I'm having like on hold for some reason. It's just, I don't know, and these are like graphic novels and manga, and like, they are easy to read and fly by. Alright, seriously. So the first book here is Servant, Volume 5. And this is by Shrike, Shrike, I think that's pronouncing that right, Shrike, Tanaka, and this is a, uh, kind of like a paranormal, supernatural, kind of, uh, manga series, um, uh, about servamps, servamps are like, uh, vampires and servants, Va like, they vampires, but they servants to their, you know, kind of like master, uh, who are, I don't know, they, they mo almost like they fight against other things or something. I don't know. So it's like a contract thing. And it's almost like kind of, like, as I just said, that they kind of fight a contract thing. Kind of remind me a little bit of Pokemon and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. But yeah, so this is like one of the, um, the servants here. He's a servant, and this is his, um, guess his, like, I don't know, animal familiar. Uh, form right here. This is a familiar form, and this is him right here. So, yeah, and this is his owner in the back right there, or his master. So, yeah, it's a colorful, you could say the, of course, the, uh, it's kind of a colorful series, but it's, of course, it's black and white, but this is the one cover page I really like. So, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed this so far. I really like the characters. This character right here is kind of cuckoo and funny at the same time. Alright, uh, next is uh, Honey So Sweet Volume 1 by Amu Meguru, Meguro, and I still haven't um, finished this. I only read Chapter 1 of this, and I, and I really know the Chapter 1 sounds interesting. It seems like it could be a good, really good, sweet, cute manga series, and I hope that I get more into it and finish it. Maybe I might do a little review for it, and um, yeah, I really like the art. And stuff so yeah so this is about a girl who was confronted by a I guess you can call him a what uh, a delinquent who confesses his love to her and she thought he was going to like you know be mean or bully to her like but you know it's, you know, it's how you see appearances don't judge a book by its cover kind of thing and, like, she found out that he's actually a really, you know, a sweet guy, so. And, um, yeah. And the next book, uh, graphic novel I got here is Saga, Saga, Volume 6. And I'm still kind of currently in, like, in there. And I, for some reason, I don't know why I'm developing this slowly. It's because I love this series so much. I just don't want it to end so quickly when I read it. And I hope I enjoy this. I really like the art, the story, the characters. It's just awesome. So sci-fi about these two uh, two couples uh, who uh, kind of like um, in, like their species are enemies. And I, and then I guess these two people, different people... Fell in love and they got a child and now everybody is after like mostly people are after them because the child's kind of like an abomination I guess and like yeah so it's like a lot of adventure and stuff and action and nudity so this is kind of like mature but yeah 
Oh, there is something else. Volume 7 is coming out this month, and I'm definitely going to get it. So, yeah. Those are books I'm currently reading, and hopefully I've read all of them, finished them all this month. I also hope to get into some of the other books I hope to uh, read this month. So, some of these books, are, most of these books are library books. Rather, there's two books that are not. I'm going to show you those first. So, the first book I plan on reading this month is Monstrous by Marjorie Lou and Sana Tucker. Takeda. Yeah, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's the names right there on top. Let me put a little closer so you can see. There. So, all I know is about, is um, a little bit it's confusing to me because I'm not really good with synopsis. But it's about this girl, teenage girl, who, um, I guess she's half human and half, uh, I don't know if she's a demon or some kind of uh, fantasy creature, and they are the humans are at war against the fantasy creatures, and the fantasy creatures are taken in as slaves. So we don't know what's what's going to happen, but I really like the art. The art is really nice. It's pretty. I mean, I'm going to show you some kind of dark, kind of yeah, kind of a dark paste, not pastel, but kind. Of, a dark color to it. Here's some other artwork. Nice. Yeah, so I hope it, it's very thick for a uh, graphic novel. Cause you usually think graphic novels are thick. But so hopefully I'm able to read this, enjoy it, maybe do a review or a little something with it. Next is a book uh, I recently got, and I wanted to plan on reading this soon. So. It's I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga, and of course, uh, I told you this in my uh, book haul. This is about Jazz, who is the son of the world's most famous and famous serial killer, and he is trying to solve and you no know, help the police and try to solve a mystery murder that to prove that he didn't kill the person, like like the you know like the uh, killing doesn't run the family kind of thing. So, yeah. Can't wait to read that. It's saying it. So, I've been wanting to read this for a while. Alright, next are books from the library. The next, the first book I want to read that I borrowed from the library is Girl Man's Up by M.E. Gerard. I don't know. But I think I kind of explained what it's about. It's mostly about this girl who you can say she's kind of a tomboy. Or she's just a girl who likes girls and she likes to play video games and dress in boy clothes. Doesn't mean she wants to be a boy. She just, that's how, that's just who she is. And I've been wanting to read this after I read like a little snippet of it, like the first chapter of it. I think it was on Amazon. And so I read into it. Was it Amazon? No, I think it was one of the publishing company. The publishing company. I think it was Hopper Teens. I'm never sure. Publishing company. I read like a little snippet of it, and I can't wait to read this. It seems like it's gonna be really, uh, really good, and hopefully it is. Next, I'm going to read is Gone, Gone, Gone by Hannah Moskowitz, and I do not know if I pronounced that right, and I do not know if you can see that. This is the same thing that happened. Um, oh, hold on. Um, uh, no, no, no. On the my uh, book haul, so that's her name right there. I read one book by her called Teeth. It's about a murdered man or murdered boy. Mm -hmm. It's so weird, but I, I really enjoyed that book, and the ending kind of got me like a bittersweet moment, bittersweet ending. That it's I'm happy for the character, but at the same time, it's just like. I don't know, you just have to read it. Um, so yeah, this is one of her other, I guess, earlier stories about uh, something that deals deals with, like, the year after 9-11 and these two guys, I guess. I don't know if they, uh, one guy, his crush on this, uh, this other guy, and 
I don't know, are they friends or they they classmates or pe people they know in school? I don't know. But it's about them too, so yeah. It's an LGBTQ book. Next book I got is I'm planning on reading is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. And this is about a girl who's been raped by her best her brother's best friend. And uh, how she uh guess she lived with that after after work during her high school year. So I think it starts from her as as freshman year. And then I guess it goes up to maybe her junior or senior year. I'm not really sure. But I saw this at Target some time ago and I didn't know what it was about. Then I read a little bit. I'm like, hmm, it sounds interesting. So hopefully I get to this soon. Mm, the last book I'm planning on reading is The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett by Chelsea. Sadati, and this is a contemporary, but with some, I guess, mystery and maybe a thriller. I'm not really sure it's a thriller, but yeah, it's the interesting about this girl who I guess she's kind of popular, and she just suddenly disappears, and I guess somehow her her life is like a lie in a way, and this one girl, a little girl, like a Hawthorne, that's pretty her name, Hawthorne. Hawthorne is seems to try to find out about this mis about her this mystery like where is Livy Lizzie Lovett and what's lies what what kind of lies are, is her is she living like life and stuff and like she goes so far as to like you know uh to associate with her family uh hang out with uh, Lizzie's boyfriend, and, like, even show up her, I guess, a job or something. So, yeah, getting a job at Lizzie work. Like, she's just doing all kinds of things. Like, I don't know if she's trying to become Lizzie Lovett or anything, but I don't know. But that sounds, you know, interesting and creepy. So, yeah. So, that's it with my TBR. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below, say what you're currently reading or what you plan on reading this month, and I hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe and everything. Bye.